Richard Burks had a lot to be proud of. A World War II vet, Purple Heart recipient, great family man. But Richard grew up in segregated Oklahoma, and for him, life was black and white. Well, you know, he was born in 1919 in um, Shawnee, Oklahoma, and from what I hear, the little bit he talked about it, there was a railroad track, and the whites lived on one side, and the blacks lived on one side, and it was just the time. In some ways, Richard stayed frozen in that time. His daughter Chris says his prejudice lingered over the years. It was ingrained in him somewhat, and he just was uncomfortable around anybody of a different color. I don't think he liked me at first. I think that he really, he was kind of standoffish. Jason Carr used to run an assisted living facility in Phoenix, where Richard, at 85 and suffering from Parkinson's disease, became a reluctant resident. He was calling me a name that I didn't want to be called. What was he calling you? <laughs> he was calling me boy. And he said, hey boy, come here. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm okay with that. Maybe no one had ever challenged Richard's bigotry. Maybe it was the way Jason explained how demeaning that term is to African Americans. Whatever it was, Richard apologized. And suddenly, everything looked different. It was amazing to me that you could be at that age, you, you think you, people are set in their ways and you know you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Over the next three years, Richard and Jason became best friends. An odd couple indeed. In his final year, Richard moved here to the state veterans home. Still, Jason would come by every single week. He'd take Richard to church, even to parties with Jason's friends. I think that it made daddy a better person in so many ways. Richard passed away last year and his daughters say they're forever grateful that he went to his grave a more tolerant man. So they emailed CBS5 and asked if we could help surprise Jason. Well, here's the $500. Let's Perfect. go pay it forward. Let's go pay it Perfect. forward. Hi, Jason. Hey. Two of your favorite people. Hey. How you doing, Jason? Look, <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> he cared for my dad in his group home and became my dad's best friend. Jason is now getting married, and I would like him to have this money for his wet. Jason, $500 to pay it forward from CBS5. Jason Carr taught a man three times his age one of the most important lessons of his life. I love you. And we love you. And watching Jason tear up. <laughs> yes. It was clear. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. He learned a lot, too. You deserve it. Peter Bush, CBS5 News, telling it like it is.